I'm up here now. I'm uh, just just off the top of a ridge right here. It's uh, kind of windy right on the ridge, but I'm down about 30 feet below the ridge. Uh, you know, I don't have a lot of time to get ready. So I'm just going to rock and roll here and get her done. Make me a, a decent place to bed down. And I'm not going to bother with any kind of exotic stuff or whatever. I'm just going to throw down and do it. All right, so we're just going to do a quick bed down here. And uh, I'm literally just going to rip and tear, throw some stuff around. Kind of clean up right here. This area right in here is actually is actually fairly soft. So I'm pretty good right here. Now it's not as uh, it's not as level as I'd like, but it will do the trick for me. Uh, my scenario is I'm I'm in a I'm in a panic. I gotta I gotta very quickly take care of my situation here so so it's literally just cleaning up quickly throwing down right in here and making up a bed so what I'm going to start with is so I've got my Osni cloak my poncho and my one blanket here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the blanket out. Now, the wind and stuff's gonna come from that direction. So, I'm going to put the fold of the blanket back that way. Like this. Okay. Now on the bottom, I'm going to fold up about a foot of it or so, right there like that. So that way I'm not, in fact, if I want to, I can fold a little flap over like that. There we go. So that, that'll get me in there just like that. Now I've got to protect myself somewhat from the wind and uh, because it, I've camped up here a lot and the, the wind can just be terrible at times. Like you, can, you can go to bed at night thinking everything's lovely and uh, soon find out that it isn't. So I, so I've got my, I've got my uh, tarp accessory kit for poncho here that I demonstrated. I'm going to take some tent stakes here and uh, I'm going to want to anchor off this poncho here to keep the wind from lifting it. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to put the we we'll put the shock cord around the around there so that way it kind of holds that down in place. <laughs> Shove that down in good and tight. Then come down into here. Because I want to keep the wind from being able to lift this. And uh, and cause if it lifts it then that wind's just going to penetrate right through to me, and I I don't want to do that. All right, so there's that and that. You know, snap my hood down. Well, I'll show you that in a minute. I think I want to do another another peg or two here, maybe. So we'll go. Now in the winter time when it's snowy, I'll bank this edge right here with snow. There we 
go. Oh, that's good. That, that found home pretty nice right there. Okay. So. I'm in such a hurry here. I'm just literally just running live here. Okay, you see all, all our ponchos have a snap on the chest right here and a snap in the hood. And then I can snap that and then pull this drawstring down. That virtually seals that off. So now I, I'm not worried about stuff really coming through there. <clears throat> okay, so. Now then, there we go there. Now, uh, now since, since this, well, let me put this down here. Now, since it's not below freezing, it's just it's gonna get cold. It could get down in the teens here. So, but uh, probably not, probably in the 20s. But I, I don't really want the tarp to be here, the poncho to lay right on top of me because my body moisture will pass through my, through my blanket and my osne and then it will come up against here. It can't escape from here because it's waterproof. So then it'll start soaking everything. If the temperatures are cold, like well below zero, that, it's no big deal because that moisture will come up here and freeze, turn to ice crystals, and you can shake it off in the morning. But since it's not that cold, then it's a problem. So realistically, I want to raise this just a little bit. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to tie off a little bit here and try to raise this up just a little bit so that it's not right directly on top of me. So we'll grab one of our cords out of the out of the kit here and I'm going to come down to here and uh, I'm going to tie this off with one of those little Swedish hitch things that I've showed you before. You've probably seen before. You've probably seen them before. All right, now. Now what I want to do, I'm going to go through this uh, tie-out tab here at the bottom just because I want to index this thing to that point. So now and I'm I'm just being totally this is what we call a fast setup here. So I'm just gonna tie I don't I don't really need I don't really need or want a lot of Space over me but I do want a little bit so I'm just going to uh, go like this so I'm just going to tie me a taut line right here and that's one of those knots you can tie even if you're wearing gloves and I'm going to make it slippery by just pulling a loop through here not the end okay now we're going to Tension that up and kind of tighten this back down. All right, so now I've got a little, got a, I'm raised up a little bit. Now I'm not, now I'm not worried about, I'm not really, I'm not worried at all about rain or anything like that. Um, all I'm, I'm not worried about rain or anything like that. I'm only concerned with the wind, really. And uh, if I'd have been a little more careful, I would have put this, actually, this is gonna turn out great. I could have, I could have uh, 
put this through. Got to put this cord through a tie out on my poncho, but I just thought of something else here. So I'm just going to fold this over like that. Now I'm going to take one of these easy clips and they will fit over a cord and and a double wrap around there. All right, so so now So now what that does is it gives me kind of a door right here. So I'm going to take one more of these tie out cords here. And I'm going to I'm going to run it through where the hood's attached and where it snaps down. And I'm going to do one of those Swedish hitches again. I'm going to zip it down just like that right there. Okay. Now I'm literally I'm doing this on the fly here, man. <laughs> okay. So I want to try to finish filming this before the before it gets too dark to see here. So I'm gonna do me a taut line again right here, so I can kind of adjust this as needed. One more loop here. Okay, here we go. Gonna make it slippery again, which saves me feeding all that cord through there too. Okay, so now, this doesn't have to look, this doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to work. So, so now I'm situated pretty good, I'm going to put another one of these um, easy clip middies down at the far end so I can kind of tighten that off. And, uh. Okay, so really I'm uh, I'm almost I'm almost done here. Just a little adjustment here. Okay, so that by putting this one here, that gives me a little bit of tension right there, and uh, makes it pretty pretty good. Makes it pretty good for me. Now, since I'm in the brush, I'm gonna break off a, whoops. Well, I was. Sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll use the brush as kind of a, let me get the camera a little closer here. Sometimes I'll use the brush as a, use it itself as a, as a tie out. I'm going to break a little of this off of here so you can see what I'm doing. See there's a fork right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove this tie out tab through the fork, shove this through there, shove the stick behind that V-notch and that'll give me a, a pull up right here without using any Cordage. All right. So there we are. Okay. So Alright, so, so here I am up in here, I've got a, a way to shield me from the wind, coming down off the ridge, should blow right over here, I'll get a little swirl in here, but I'm not going to get the direct blow of the wind, so I'm in pretty good shape, I'll throw on my Osni cloak, crawl into here, and this will be my bed for the night, and uh, 
basically you just saw me do this live. <laughs> you just saw me do this live. Clear my way, clear my way a little bit here. Okay. All right, I'll try to get a final shot if I can, if the light's not too low here. All right, so I'm going to bed now. I'm gonna throw my Osni over the top of me as part of my shelter because that way I'm wearing it if I need to get up in the night, adjust something. All right, so there's my shelter that I literally just, I literally just threw it up. So, gives me protection from the elements. And it is, if you want to be concealed, it is even fairly well concealed. Now if you look right there, there we are inside the shelter here, in fact I might bust out a little stuff here as I get into the shelter put my tripod over here so you can see me getting into there you know it's not the best but that that deal right there would put my go to sleep and sleep good through the night so now my Osni forms one layer of insulation for sleeping my blanket holds another and my poncho forms a wind barrier to keep the night winds that flow through here virtually every night. It can get pretty gusty at times. Keep that from directly impacting me. And so I get in here like this and I button clear up inside of here. So I'm pretty much all the way in and go to sleep just like that. I've actually found myself a nice little spot that my body fits right into so this is going to be pretty good uh, the only other thing i would do is grab me a little something some leaves stuffed in the bag the blanket came in put down here for a pillow well just a few just a few little pointers here observations on the north side of this ridge there's snow on the ground not a lot but it's you know it's it's a lot of white over there and so I'm over the top of the ridge. This, this faces due south, but I chose this side right here because uh, one thing we want to we want to try to take advantage of everything we can in a situation. Being on this side of the ridge right here, situated right where I am, the sun's going to come up right a point. The sun's going to come up right over here. All day long, the sun shines on here. There's nothing. There's nothing to the south of me to block the sun from shining here. To, uh, to take advantage of solar heating as well. So I'm off the ridge. My poncho here, part of my poncho shelter system. You're going to hear us talking a lot about that now as we emphasize it. So my poncho shelter system is my poncho. There, well, this is what I've got with me. There's a lot more than this to it. But I've got my poncho. I've got my Osni cloak. I've got my blanket. So that's three components of the system. Plus I've got my uh, tarp accessory uh, kit for ponchos with me that I use for my tent stakes and my cordage here uh, to tie this off. But I mean really, very little time, throw this together. This, this, this would be a nice sleep right here. Well really quick, really fast, show you what you can do. You don't, it doesn't have to be pretty. I mean, it's kind of an ugly little shelter but it'd be but it's a, it's a warm shelter nice and cozy and everything like that